Huh? It's this dream again. Where is this? Who are you? Why do I keep seeing you in my sleep? Find the angel. Uh, who is this angel? Uh, and how do I find you? Huh? Oh, uh, Catnap, uh, did I wake you up? That's good. Um, nightmare. More like weird dreams, nothing too concerning, buddy. Anyways, we're close to the station. Let's get dressed. I can ask Bobby about it later. Alright! Hmm? We're gonna go ahead and deliver the information to HQ, and then restock the ship. See you guys. Alright. Then we'll head to Lugwood's office. See you guys later. So, you'll be able to send the rest of the resources to my crew? Sure can! I already notified Ollie about it. Good. Dog day! Captain! Hey guys! Poppy, I'm looking for someone and I was hoping you could help. Oh, I love finding people! Give me the description and possible location of origin. Well, he kind of appears whenever I'm asleep. He's this tuxedo cat who wears a blue robe of sorts. Right. And while I didn't get to see his face, his fur was pretty smooth. Uh-huh. Oh, and he keeps telling me to find someone called the Angel? Dog Day, are you sure it's not your brain telling you to get a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Anyways, let's see if I can find the person you just described to me. Shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> she just called you a pointless cat. <laughs> <laughs> Are you good, Catnip? Oh. Well, I definitely found your angel. But, um, unfortunately, Borealis, the planet he's from, has been destroyed by the prototype ten years ago. Though we initially believed it was a complete annihilation, there was one reported survivor. He reported that the angel was killed in battle, but... I feel like he was dishonest. Did this survivor identify himself? Nope. And anyone we sent could come empty-handed. Poor, poor captain. Looks like you lost your chance with an angel. Uh, why are you like this? <laughs> well, <laughs> since we got the information we needed, let's go meet the others at Kissy's. Hey, Bobby, want some food? So, did you find the information you wanted, Dog Day? Kind of, but it left me with more questions than answers, Crafty. Hmm. If this angel is dead, then why do I dream of him? Uh, maybe it's not him, but the survivor asking for help. Maybe it's the magic connected to you. <laughs> like catnaps. Possible. You think so too, huh? Yeah, <laughs> maybe he's like a psychic. We've gotten messages like that before. And maybe he's still on the planet. <laughs> we should go check it out. Girl, you're right in my ear. Can you stop? Maybe when we're called for another assignment. Okay, Hoppy. Stop complaining. Huh. Hmm? Oh, uh, Catnap, what's up? In progress? A lot, actually. Apparently, the angel's name was never released to the public. A tradition of the royal family. It was only when he came of age and was crowned would he reveal it to his people. He was famed for his control over the auroras in his planet, as well as his psychic powers. His people had hoped that he would be able to defeat the prototype's cult. So, is he dead? Eh, dead. But it just doesn't make any sense. How? Why? What went wrong? You worry me sometimes. I think you need some rest, Captain. Yeah. Come, I'll help. Hmm? Good night, Captain. You, <clears throat> you. Are you sure you want to go by yourself? We don't know what's down there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, I'm sure. It'll be a quick scout and I'll come back, okay, Bobby? Uh, this is not scouting at all! Should have guessed there would be coal activity. I mean, the planet was a giant crater filled with red smoke! Uh, but where I landed, the smoke level was a clear zero. Not a trace in sight! Uh, like someone has been slowly filtering the smoke out of the atmosphere. Uh, 
Ah, shoot. Dead end. I can either fight or fall. Hold on. Yes, he's stable. You can pick your captain up tomorrow morning, when the cult activity isn't at its peak. Yeah, yeah, I'll let him know that he's in for an earful when you critters pick him back up. Over and out. And here I was worried that you wouldn't make it, Captain Dog Day. Who are you? Space Rider Z. Pleasure meeting you. You're the survivor from the reports? Astute observation, Captain. You're also the reason why the red smoke level is lowered in some areas, right? Terribly slow process, but yes, I've been filtering the smoke out. So, this planet can be saved? No. The prototype and his cult were ruthless in their attack against us. In just an hour and six minutes, he was able to eradicate most of the population. There's nothing left to save here. Not anymore. Oh. Oh. Uh, Captain, your heart and energy in the right place. However, it's better to use your resources in more important planets. Borealis is a lost cause, trust me. Wait, if Borealis is a lost cause... I'm preserving it out of duty, for the off chance that those that may have survived come back to rebuild. A delusional, pitiful, decade-long goal. But it keeps me going. I think it's what the royal family would have wanted. Maybe. I don't know. Z, what causes that crater to form? The angel. At the end of the hour of joy. The Angel, despite the remaining survivor's protest, went to the Red Smoke Towers. He knew that the only way to stop the cult from spreading was to destroy them. And so he did with all the power he had and destroyed all those towers. He never returned, though. The power he released was so strong it destroyed parts of the planet. It made the planet inhospitable. The remaining survivors had no choice but to evacuate to the stars to find a new planet to call home. I choose to stay. My job isn't done after all. Anyways, enough about that. You might want to take this before sleeping again. Huh? Uh, what's this, E? Activated charcoal pills. The arrow they shot you with was made of concentrated red smoke. Activated charcoal is capable of absorbing the worst of the smoke, rendering it null. While celestial powered beings like you can withstand the prototype smoke better than other beings, it's still better to be careful. Huh? You didn't get any of that, did you? Nope, not at all. Okay, layman's terms, it means it'll stop you from getting those screwed up visions and side effects. You're being truthful, right? <laughs> You're cute, Captain. If I wanted you dead, I would have left you in the rushing river to bleed out and drown. Anyways, I'll go fetch some food for you. The pill can be rather strong on an empty stomach. Huh. Oh no. Uh... You're staring. What's on your mind? I was wondering why you don't remove your helmet. I like looking cool. <laughs> no, but really, oh, come on. I'm sure you don't look that bad. But then my mysterious persona will be gone now, wouldn't it? Alright, Captain, get some rest. I'll wake you up tomorrow when your crew arrived on the planet, okay? Uh, uh, okay. Captain Tokte Solaris. Uh-oh, this is bad. Hey there. I'm sorry for worrying you, Kata. Wow, that's, uh, that's intense. Thank you for taking care of our captain. It's nothing. By the way, I put all updated information of Borealis in this USB. You can give it to Poppy. Knowledge. I would go myself, but that feels like a fetch quest. And I don't feel like it, to be honest. You and your crew are free to visit. Just make sure to not get stabbed and almost drown in my rivers again. Take care of yourself, Captain. Uh, uh, uh huh. Totally. Oh my god, he's flirting. Hmm. So, that mysterious rider. It, it's nothing, uh, Naps. Uh... Dog Day, you're blushing. Uh, nah, shut up. What do you mean, nah? -uh? 
time you found someone. We just met. And yet you're blushing like a maiden. As your captain, I, I order you to shut up, okay? 